Hello, it's Michael, Michael Reckless, this is a quick video about being the member of the month at Element 14, for September I believe. Um, it's a great surprise because I didn't know anything, I didn't know member of the month existed, but I'm grateful for achieving it anyway. I'm guessing it's my work in the Vertical Grow Challenge which won me this award. Um, Dave sent me a list of a couple of questions that he'd like me to answer and I'm going to cherry pick one or two out of it for the video, the rest will be in the text below. Uh, so what brought me to Element 14? Um, I was searching for aquaponics blogs and I stumbled upon the vertical growing challenge. So I applied to that and I was lucky enough to be accepted alongside some other great projects. Um, the next question is what got me interested in electronics? Well I used to be a computer for but actively avoid using a computer and microcontrollers until <coughs> one of the lab labs at my university I couldn't avoid it anymore and I kind of got interested then but the main person who got me interested is Bob Mackin of Lancaster University because he had a quadcopter like uh, like these ones and these got me hooked because they're fun to build quite cheap and you need quite a lot of knowledge to build your own I've got I built a couple it turns out I'm better at making them than flying them, as you can see with with this one. This one's crashed. This one's going to crash soon. Um, I don't know if any of you can remember that one person that got you into electronics, but it would be nice to know. Um, the next question, what do I do professionally? Well, I've graduated from university last year with a Masters in Electrical Engineering. And before that, I had a Masters in Mechanical. Um, I'm just finishing my gap year now and looking for jobs so this is a great opportunity for a shameless plug. If you know of any PhDs in automation of farming or similar or jobs, shoot me a message or an email over. If you want my CV check out the website michaelratcliffe.com and you'll find it all there. Uh, I'll relocate worldwide for the right position. The next question is my involvement in the Vertical Farming Challenge. Uh, I applied because I've been doing a lot of work in the area already and it gives me a great opportunity to blog about it with an audience who are interested. Um, I'm mainly interested in automating the whole system so eventually we'll have a plug and place uh, control system where you don't need any knowledge of aquaponics or hydroponics. You'll just build the control system which I'm releasing on the GNU. Uh, using an Arduino or Raspberry Pi, depending on what I decide to finally release it under. You'll top up your fish food, you'll top up your pH buffer, and it'll do its thing. You don't even need, all you need to do is plant your plants and take them out. It'll even tell you if you've got too many plants or not enough plants. Um, what's the most challenging part of the design so far? pH probes. I have, have you ever heard the term green from? Well, I've got the opposite for pH probes. If you let me touch your pH probe or use a pH probe, I can guarantee I'll break it in a month. So, uh, and that's because the membrane's quite delicate. At the moment, there's a group of us working at Element 14 to make a solid state pH probe, well, chemical analyzer. There's a link to that down below if you think you could help. It's open to everybody. Um, other projects I'm working on. Well, I'm working on a lot of projects, to be honest. I'm Reading my time between them, I think there's 32. Some are electronics based, uh, brushless DC motors for electrical vehicles, fine tuning those. Um, the rest of them are on world hunger and how automation can reduce that. So I'm making systems which are plug and play for everything. So you've got your aquaponics and hydroponics, um, but then you've also got your traditional agriculture so like cattle, sheep and pasture management so the idea is you'll have a raspberry pi and a camera watching the field it'll model the, the grass growth and tell you how many cows when to rotate the field it'll be watching your cows all the time so it'll be able to tell when they're mating when one's ill uh, lots of other stuff but I've not got that project blogged at the minute the projects which I've blogged uh, the automated greenhouse blog and the animated Grim, which is a Halloween special. Um, but the image processing that's quite useful, you can take the image process inside and 
instead of dispensing candy like I'm doing, you can do a range of other things. So check them out there below. Uh, what advice would I give to people on Element 14? The main one is do video blogs because it's much easier to watch somebody summarise the blog than it is to read all the way through it. And if you're asking questions, like on the Arduino forum, include all the information, your codes, your libraries, and everything somebody needs to help you, because if they don't have all the information, how do you expect to get help? Um, any parting words? Just again, I'd like to thank Dave and all the other unnamed staff at Element 14 for providing the road tests and the vertical and the challenges, because they are amazing opportunities for somebody like me to get uh, gear to work on your projects with so keep up the good work I'll just show you some of the stuff which I've got from element 14 if you look here this is for the this is some of the kit that I got for the automated greenhouse it's actually really well packaged if you look here the shipping L uh, capacitors there I thought I was getting diamonds when I first opened the package I've never had such high quality gear to work with. The packaging from Element 14 is always great. And this is for the animated Grim. So you've got a Raspberry Pi touch screen. Now this thing, I've, I've just done a video blog of opening this box. And this is amazing. Uh, it's very cheap from Element 14. I think it's around 40 pounds. You'll have to convert that to dollars. But you get a lot of stuff for your money with this. Um, that's all, so click on the hyperlinks for the other blogs below if you're interested in my work and thanks for nominating me for the member of the month.